Quotes and Articles.com. Presence. Seven Core Lessons from The Power of Positive Thinking. Written by Dr. Norman Vincent Peale. The Power of Positive Thinking has sold more than 7 million copies worldwide. It has also been translated into 15 languages. Dr. Norman Vincent Peale was an American minister and author of several books. In the author's own words, this book is written with the sole objective of helping the reader achieve a happy, satisfying, and worthwhile life. Norman Vincent Peale Lesson number 1. Believe in yourself. You can be successful and happy by developing reasonable confidence in your own powers. Self-confidence leads to self-realization and successful achievement. When you believe in yourself, you will be able to release your inner powers. And, when your personality is inclined towards positivity, you start to draw success towards you. Lesson number 2. Overcome feelings of inferiority and self-doubt. Fill your mind with overflowing faith by developing tremendous faith in God, and that will give you a humble, yet soundly realistic faith in yourself. Another way is to prepare and imprint on your mind a mental picture of yourself as being successful. Keep this picture in your mind's eye without wavering. Make sure to picture success and all that you want because your mind will seek to bring into your life that which you think constantly. So keep away thinking of failure or negativity. Lesson number three a peaceful and a relaxed mind. Such a mind is powerful, and generates power easily. A primary method, for gaining a mind full of peace, is to practice emptying the mind. The author recommends, a mind emptying practice for at least twice a day, more often if necessary. Practice emptying your mind, of fears, hates, insecurities, regrets, and guilt feelings. Your mere attempt at this practice, tends to give relief. When pressure and tension are mounting up on you, you fail to derive from life its true essence. You got to remember to slow down and relax. One of the simplest methods for reducing tension is to practice the easy does it attitude. Do everything more slowly, less hectically, and without pressure. Lesson number four Expect the best and get it. Get the habit of expecting the best, and not the worst, by training to believe, think positively, to have faith in either God, or yourself. Commit to changing your mental habits, to belief instead of disbelief. Learn to expect, and not to doubt. By this you bring everything into the realm of possibility. To learn to believe, is of primary importance. It is the basic factor, for succeeding in any endeavor. When you expect the best, you release a magnetic force in your mind, which by a law of attraction, tends to bring the best to you. Lesson number 5. Don't believe in defeat. If you are thinking thoughts of defeat, get rid of such thoughts, for as you think defeat, you tend to get it. Adopt the I don't believe in defeat attitude. Don't go crawling through life on your hands and knees half defeated. Stand up to your obstacles, and do something about them. You will find that, they don't have half the strength, you think they have. You can do this when you have faith, faith in God, and faith in yourself. Faith is the chief quality you need. It is enough. In fact, it is more than enough. Lesson number 6. Break the habit of worry, solving problems. Worry, in its simplest definition, is an unhealthy and destructive mental habit. You were not born with the worry habit, but you acquired it. So you can change it, just like any other habit. You have to practice the opposite of worry, which is faith. With all the strength and perseverance you can generate, start practicing faith. Solving problems. Believe that if there is a problem, there is a solution. Keep calm, and be relaxed. Being tense, 
blocks the flow of creative thought power, and your brain cannot perform efficiently, under stress. Lesson number 7. Power of using imagination, affirmations, and prayer. These methods are mentioned by the author, in various parts of the book, for changing the habitual thinking pattern. You can use these methods, to overcome feelings of inferiority, fear, anger, resentment, negativity and so on. Imagination. Picture yourself as succeeding, and don't build up any obstacles in your imagination. By giving in to fearful thoughts. Affirmations. Affirm what you want, if you feel fearful to do something, affirm to yourself, that you can do it, or use Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ, who strengthens me. When you are tensed, or angry, repeat this to yourself, God keeps me in perfect peace, for my mind is stayed on him. Isaiah 26 3. Or you can use Psalms 23. Prayer. Set aside a few minutes every day for prayer, no need to say anything, but simply practice the presence of God. Then pray orally in terms, that are familiar to you, no need to try to address God, as how other people in church, or elsewhere do, by using stereotyped pious words. During your busy time, close your eyes briefly, and practice the presence of God. You don't need to ask for something every time you pray, instead, affirm that God's blessings are being given, and spend most of your prayers giving thanks. Do get this great book, and enjoy its power-filled message. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you liked it. If you want more videos, be sure to subscribe. Also, share this video with your family and friends. More videos, on best-selling books are on the way.